What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I've got a special video for you. It's my first tech review. We are going to be covering the best affordable tripod you can get. Here we go! Alright, so this is the Delica 62 inch tripod. The quick specs are fold height is 580 millimeters or 22.8 inches. Minimum height is 470 millimeters or 18.5 inches. It weighs 2.9 pounds or 1,320 grams. Leg diameter 23 millimeters or 0.9 of an inch. Four sections. And its maximum load is 13.2 pounds, which is really good on a cheap tripod. But first up, let's get this bad boy open. Bam! Plastic bag with a case. Wasn't expecting a case. Case is your typical canvas bag. It's pretty nice. It's got a little shoulder strap that's got uh, like no adjustment on it at all, hardly. That's, that's it. That's all you get adjustment-wise on your strap. But hey good when you're gonna go hiking or something right because I know I always use a bag with my tripod the zipper feels okay though here we go and the tripod itself in another bag we can get this tag over here and that's it kids that's the tripod it feels really good actually Coming in at under $50, these tripods are pretty hard to beat, actually. I've had a number of the little Sunpack and Walmart dri uh, drives. Did I say drives? Tripods. The Under 50 bucks is a great tripod. The The Sunpack and like the Walmart brand and the Best Buy brand that are all 50 to 75 bucks, they've got nothing on this. It's got nice foam on the legs that doesn't feel that bad. The legs are made of aluminum. The, the clasps are some kind of plastic or polycarbonate. It's got the little feet that thread out and have a little spike on them. So when you're on dirt or carpet or something, you can extend those out and have spiky legs. The legs do not slide out freely like they do with like my Manfrotto and stuff. But they still feel really good. The center post... You can loosen this up and the center post raises up and lowers down. And the little ball head isn't too bad. It's got a spin adjustment and you can tip the, the head to the side. And it's got an adorable little quick release plate. Also the head uh, the ball head has a bubble level on it as well as the legs and another interesting feature is the, the the legs also have a little compass built into them now I don't know why you'd need that but you know whatever the legs you can pull this little tab out right here and the legs can extend further to a lower wider stance lower lower meaning the tripod can go lower or you can go up another notch and the legs go almost straight out to the side which means your minimum height is going to be basically whatever you're stuck with here for the center post that's handy it also has a hook so you can hang your bag from it or a sandbag to help provide some additional stability build quality is nice on this thing though it's made of aluminum it has a decent weight to it. It's not super heavy. I could easily go backpacking with this or whatever. And actually, to be honest, the reason I bought this, and I actually bought two of them, is for my camera slider. That's going to be what we take a look at next. Overall, I'd say this is a good buy. It's the Dalika, Delica, I don't know how to say that, Proline series. I'll leave a link down in the description. Go check them out. Alright, so.
so I want to take my Canon 80D with the Canon 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 L lens which is kind of a heavy lens and we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see how this handles in the wind extended there is a little bit of camera shake okay this is the minimum height that we can get it to go the legs are not extended at all and they're on the second notch now we could actually bring the center post up even higher and um, extend the legs out one more one more notch higher and have a much wider base but you would only need that like if you're on rocks or something like that, like a like a up in the mountains or on boulders or something. So that's a little unnecessary for what we're doing here. Overall, I'd say it's a, a pretty good tripod though. Now let's try it on the slider, see how that works. Okay, so I fumbled around plenty with it, but it seems to hold the slider just fine. I don't have an extra ball head right now. I've kind of got them all in use. It seems to hold the weight pretty well, and uh, it looks like it's gonna work out just fine for, for my purposes, why I bought it. So yeah, for, for 50 bucks, under 50 bucks, like 42, $46, these tripods are great. I definitely recommend picking one up if you're in the market for some new sticks and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend. Overall, I think this is a great buy at under $50. Some uh, things I don't like about it. I'm actually not that fond of the ball head. It is removable so I could replace it, but that's an extra expense. And if you're looking to get in cheap, having extra expenses is not the way to go. I've been spinning this the wrong way the whole time. I probably just took it off. There we go. But the ball head does come off. And you do have a larger size screw on the bottom. I believe that's 3 8 or 5 16 or something to that effect. The ball head also does not have any markings on the quick release plate. There's no way of denoting which direction it goes on when you put it back on the ball head. Other than that, it is slightly longer in one direction though it almost looks completely square it is indeed a rectangle but other than that it seems to hold up pretty well for the uses that I have and that's really all I've got for this here tripod hope you guys enjoyed the video if you found this informative go pick one up if you need one I'll leave a, a link in the description if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel. If uh, you want to super support me, go check us out on Patreon. And you can find me on all the other social media. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.